Over the Top is the most famous arm wrestling movie in the world. As a pro arm wrestler, I get asked all the time, is that really what pro arm wrestling looks like? Let's watch it together and find out. Here he comes. I'm the smasher. Smasher. So here's the first match. So John just sat up and just went straight sideways with the guy. Knowing arm wrestling now it looks like perfectly executed arm wrestling, but when I watched this not knowing, I was like, what the hell is that? Because that's not how you wrist wrestled back in the day. This show just gets you hyped up. Now that's funny. This is a right-handed tournament, of course, right? Every match is supposed to be right-handed. But you see the, the guy from Canada set up one match left-handed. They tell you you're going to put up left-handed because I'm assuming in the event they must have right left-handed competitions. But throwing a left-hand setup into a right-handed only tournament is kind of uh, kind of funny. It's like when you watch a Western and you see the, the airplane. Makes it dramatic, though. Lincoln gets more hand control, dives in with the press. So here's what we got. These are finalists, supposedly. So Bull Hurley, he's undefeated in five years. He's one of the first finalists. So two-time Canadian cha champion, Carl Adams. There's John Verzink slapping him in the face. That's a good moment. So now Harry Bosco is the other one, right? And then here comes Lincoln Hawk. So all we've seen is Lincoln lose to John Grizzly, and we've seen John Grizzly lose to Lincoln. Who put John Grizzly out of the tournament? Like, why is he not in the... We haven't seen him lose, but to, to him, so it doesn't make sense. Lincoln versus uh, Harry Bosco, right? You see him jogging. I've never seen anybody complain to the ref ever. I'm not f***ing down. Bullshit! So here comes Bull Harley and Carl Adams. Boom. So that would be a never, that would never look like that in the start. They both just sink down and absorb each other, right? In pro arm wrestling, both those guys will be hidden for all they're worth. All right, so here's Carl Adams going for the pin. Bull Harley just smashed these people over one pull. Okay, so this is where we have, have another problem. Carl Adams has either lost once to Bull Hurley or he'd already pulled Bull Hurley earlier in the rounds. And those were his two losses, which wouldn't make sense in a tournament either. So finalist of this event, undefeated in five years, Bull Hurley. And then here we got Lincoln Hall, the remaining challenger. Bull Hurley was the one that was denying the grip by letting go, right? So there is such a thing called an intentional slip. And that's if you just give your ball up your hand, your opponent your thumb, you open your hand like this and you slip, or if you push straight through the hand now, it looked like that's how it was going with Bull. Like he would have been the one called, but then when you show the next position of the hands, they're both kind of like going outside. And so no one was at fault automatically going to the strap. Now this strap that you see, it's a leather like cut. at least to eight and a half, right? Like I know it's kind of a corny movie for some people, but I really do. There's a nostalgia to it as well. It takes me back to my youth. I would say it's probably at least a seven and a half on accuracy. What do you guys think?